Hey everyone, Reminex here, and I kind of wanted to go over uh, some of the issues that we've been having lately. Uh, specifically, the concern that we've had uh, is basically we've seen a team like uh, Heroes for Hire go through a couple different phases. More importantly, Shang-Chi with the most recent uh, wave of quote-unquote fixes. Uh, we really kind of want to establish what to expect going forward from Boundless when a character is bugged or not working as intended. So we got to get right into it because uh, I, I think there's a lot of little pieces of puzzle to talk about. So let's start with Philavel. And Philavel was actually bugged in a way that we weren't aware of. Uh, a couple of clever players figured out that her passive was applying when any character, not just, um, um, not just when any, uh, any ally, or uh, Infinity Watch ally had death proof, they were getting drained. So if somehow you gave death proof to, I don't know, Symbiote Spider-Man, they were getting additional drain in all game modes. So it's kind of important to understand that, that was actually a way that some folks were utilizing this team. They had built Cole Obsidian because of his uh, passive and getting him death proof, uh, were making it their way through some of the 1.1 content as a result. And the problem was it wasn't something that uh, the community at large was made aware of and thus exploited in a way that uh, that triggered a lot of flags here. So I wanna just go through this really quickly. Well, any ally has death proof, that ally gains 50% drain. That was actually not there until recently. So Scopely made a fix, Boundless made the fix, and actually made it work the way that we were utilizing the character. So it was a very player-friendly change and definitely honored the way um, that we wanted her uh, to work in a way that a lot of people were already getting her to work. That being said, you know, and coupled with the Kree tag, there's a lot of cool things that happen now that she's on the Kree team. If you resurrect the character with uh, Minerva, they get death proof, uh, and she applies death proof to characters in certain situations. So it's really important that you're you're looking at this as additional ways they made this team stronger. So I, I, I'll give them a thumbs up on that one for honoring the communities. Um, sentiment and, and their way to, to do that. So let's start with another one that kind of hit relatively soon after that. And we're gonna talk about Captain Sam. So Captain Sam uh, is still a phenomenal character, but the problem with that was when we watched the initial strike time, this freedom flight uh, was basically saying that if there were 10 characters, you would get 100% uh, speed up. And the problem with that is, is the way that the game works is it calculates um, the number of characters that are alive after the attack is complete. So just like you can't spread debuffs from a target that has died, it's the same thing you couldn't get the speed up from this ability. So it was just a scenario, I think, that they didn't anticipate. And thus, they had to make a textual change to make it reflect the way the ability was working because we expected something different when we bought it. This one was kind of like a, the character was still really good, still works really well, but it isn't especially good against minions, unless you're talking about a mirror match when the enemies are spawning with, when the uh, the enemies are spawning with death proof. So specifically in the mirror match, when you're using this team against the team, uh, the allies are spawning with death proof because of Maria Hill and Nick Fury's. So this one's a push. Uh, I really feel like um, they, they got it to work the way that they intended it to work, but the community may have expected something different. Let's talk about Maria Hill. Maria Hill came out a little bit differently, and this one was reported because uh, a lot of folks were expecting her uh, to do some stuff. So so what happened was she was a core release. You can buy her through cores and have the early access method. And so Maria Hill's passive was not working correctly. Um, and more importantly, um, I mean, a, a correction, her her, uh, her ultimate wasn't working correctly. Uh, and the reason why is because uh, of a reason that, I don't know, some, somebody I know, um, you know, went through and, and figured out exactly why it was that. It's just somebody you might know, uh, you know, he's, he talks a lot on Twitch and YouTube, but he figured out that it wasn't applying because um, they had made it so that skill was replaced with shield uh, in the code. So instead of a, removing the skill allies as the kit was originally intended, so they went back, they reworked it, and now, and now she works uh, the way that we intended. 
Um, and then we're going to talk about Death Pool. So Death Pool comes out, and there is a ton of hype around Death Pool. Uh, but there's just a lot of little things going wrong. And so one of the things that happened inside the, this was, um, you know, because, you know, the, and we'll, we'll leave the, Maria, the Maria Hill fix was largely just a text change. They got it fixed relatively quickly, and the community at large wasn't affected greatly by it. However, it still probably reduced their uh, consumer confidence. I'm, I'm going to go into that in a minute because I want to talk about something um, why I'm a little bit frustrated with uh, a boundless for their most recent decision on legendary. So we're going to talk about this death comes for all. So this passive, uh, we were expecting it to work on her own turn. And so it wasn't working on her own turn. Uh, but what happened was it looks like uh, initially they were investigating it. And then suddenly the text was reflecting the way it was working without really giving us a lot of insight. And what happened was it looks like that was an unintentional push to the public. And so Cerebro has assured us that beginning next patch, she's gonna get better. So your new Warriors team is about to get a lot more powerful and you're about to see a, a little bit of a, of a, a rebalance. We won't call it a buff because it's working the way that we thought it would. So Boundless has made a commitment to make sure that on, um, on your turn, on Death Bull's turn, if she kills someone, she's gonna follow up with her passive. So we'll be able to trigger off her own attacks. That being said, it has been a while. It's a little bit too long from the you know the beginning of the patch to the end of the patch. We're looking at almost, what, six and a half weeks at this point in time, at the time I'm shooting this video for this to happen. So, you know, for all this time, we've been missing a little bit of the effect, but uh, honestly, she's phenomenal in raids. And now that she has the accompaniment and the kusher bunts of, of uh, Cloak and Dagger, you can see that she's she's exceptionally powerful. Uh, and I went all in on this character because I'm just nuts. Uh, that being said, we're gonna follow up with this, this last piece of the puzzle. So uh, this one is for me, the most frustrating release we've seen in a very, very long time. And the reason is, first he was, a, he was the event for Shang-Chi was amazing. It was one of the most player-friendly events we've had in this game, probably period. I, I don't think I can think of a more player-friendly event. And so the problem we had was specifically with his special. And what was happening with, with his special was it was using a, a negative damage component that was healing up allies. If you guys weren't aware of it, because uh, Colleen Wing was an ally, it was also getting additional piercing damage, making the healing that this ability was doing well off the charts that they couldn't just leave it in the game and leave it functioning the way that it was. And that's what was referenced in the initial reaction was because Colleen Wing was an ally, they were seeing extraordinarily high numbers because the piercing damage, when it was doing negative damage to all allies, was just numbers that were like 700k, you know, heals that just, that there's nothing in the character that healed in this game. And so, and so when we're talking about this, um, the fact that it wasn't applying, it didn't, it didn't say that it was, was applying a counter uh, to self and all heroes for higher allies. The fact that it wasn't, you know, it, it, the way that it works now is a lot different than the way it was working initially because it could heal through heal block. It now uh, doesn't heal. Um, it doesn't remove uh, negative effects until after the heal goes off. So it's one of those things. So it's, it's, it's one of the problem with this is it's still not working the way that we had it. Although it would have been irresponsible for me to say to build this character as a healer in your skill lane because we knew that when he he came out that he was too good to be true and the warnings were there he was still a great character but there was definitely going to have to be some balance around this ability because it was clearly not working as intended and so this is the problem that leaves us kind of where we are uh with with confidence here is I think that they they found a way to kind of honor the community's I, the desire to make him work outside of his own team without making him the best character in the game and destroying a potential balance. However, I don't think to this day we're confident that this has been communicated as the final resolution. I don't think there's been an in-game communication that says Shang-Chi is currently working the way that we 
absolutely intend. We've made the following rebalances to his kit, and this is absolutely what you can expect from him going forward. There should be a mea culpa that comes along with this that lets us know that the confidence that we, we need to have in this company going forward is going to be that they're going to make adjustments that are both player friendly and honor the way that we wind up building these teams because frankly, these characters are expensive and it shouldn't happen that way. So one of the things I want to talk about is when we're looking back at this, while we know that Captain America, Sam and Maria Hill are important, a lot of players just didn't have the confidence to invest in them because of the level of bugs or uh, miscommunication that was happening with them. And they kind of just came between uh, you know, the Adam Warlock release. And so now they're making them a legendary requirement when these were probably at the crux of the most disappointed we were with, with Boundless as far as releases. So this is doubling down on why it feels bad for Omega Red. And so a lot of folks uh, either, either skipped the team or only went minimal investment. Um, but I will tell you right now that going forward, I'm going to be very conscious of characters that are in two strike passes as potential legendary releases, because it seems like that is one of the ways that they're restricting access to characters to make sure that those who folks who pay for the early access are getting legendaries uh, at a uh, at a faster rate than other folks here. So we're going to talk about this a net positive. OK, positive reaction to Deathpool making work the way they intended. Phi Lavelle making making her working uh, outside of outside of um, with the with the the death proof and not changing that Shang Chi honoring the way that we thought it was going to work and making him viable. I don't even use a healer anymore in um, in the boss note. I'm able to one shot it with Shang Chi and allies. Uh, and and the same thing with Captain Sam is understanding the way that it was never going to work because the, we we collectively know that when a character dies, you can't steal effects. It wouldn't count as a positive character. And then going in and fixing this before the community at large really felt the impact of this was kind of a soft push. So collectively, it looks like they're trying to do right by us, but it's just taking too long to happen. And there just isn't enough communication at the forefront that needs to happen to help us identify what to expect going forward. Because sitting here and thinking about what could possibly be happening with Shang-Chi, um, you know, literally a month after his release is uh, going to be frustrating the next time a bug happens in the game. And we all know that bugs are bound to happen in the games that we play. It's how the company responds to them and how they react. So net positive on some of these changes. Some of these changes still feel really bad. Uh, I'm just hoping we get better communication going forward so I can tell you guys how to work with these teams and how to build them. Anyway, I do things so you don't have to. Uh, and uh, looks like we're going to have to figure out a way to get a, a Mega Red to 7 star. Uh, but uh, he looks like he's potentially the best legendary. I just wasn't, wasn't he was uh, um, wasn't behind some of the uh, community disappointment um, that happened with, with the Secret Avengers. Love you much.